Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on achieving this look. So if you'd like to see how I achieve this, then please keep watching. I'll give you a better view of the eye look. I am going to start off by priming my face. And the first one I'm going to use is the Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating. My skin is, of course, as always, dehydrated. So this definitely comes in handy. Next, I'm going to use the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. Just going to take a little bit of that and just put it around problem areas. So, just around here. And bring some up on my nose. And then on the other side. That's mostly where you can see some of my pores through my makeup. I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and just to give another an extra smoothing hydrating effect I'm going to use my fix plus and just give it a couple sprays I am looking extra pale today I have zero trace of a fake tan on so I'm going to take my Mac pro Longwear, and I'm just gonna put that on the back of my hand and like normal just do my foundation I'm going to take the flatter side and just blend that out. I'm just going to take my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and pop some on the back of my hand. Again, I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and use the pointy end. Dip some of that in there and just to brighten up the under eye just a little bit. I'm going to add some just down my nose, a little bit on my forehead, and then some on my chin, above my lip, and around the sides of my mouth. I'm take my large powder brush and I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me powder. And just to set my whole face. I'm going to take the Hula Bronzer by Benefit, and I'm going to take the Jessup Duo Fiber Brush. Just going to add some in here, and then tap off the excess and do my contour zones. Using the Jessup um, powder blush brush, blush brush, I'm going to use Milani um, blush in Luminoso. Next, I'm going to take the Jessup tapered highlighting brush and the um, translucent pearl from Physicians Formula highlighter. I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in taupe and just give my eyebrows just a little bit of color. going to use the MAC Painterly Paint Pot and I'm going to prime my eyes. I'm just going to use my fingers to do so. Mm, I 
love the smell of this. Okay, I'm gonna take my, from Jessup, the Small Tapered Blending Brush, and I'm just gonna take some peanut butter, pop that on there. I'm just gonna start working that into the crease and bringing it up. Next, I'm gonna take the color Mousse. And I'm just gonna put that into the crease. Now I'm gonna take the color Truffled, put that on the seam, but on the outer corner. and bring it into the, a part of the crease, just the end of the crease. And bring it in just a little bit when it almost has nothing left on the brush. I'm just gonna take a damp flat brush and put it in caramel. And just put that all, pack that all over the lid. take the flat definer brush and put it in truffled and just smoke out the lower lash line. I'm going to take the short shader brush, put it in some Fix Plus, and then I'm going to take some coconut cream and just put that below the lash. I mean, eyebrows. Then pack some on the outer corner. Then I'm going to take a little bit of butter pecan and just put that on the center of my lid. Then I'm going to take my Maybelline eyeliner in Barely Beige and just line my waterline. For mascara, I'm going to use L'Oreal Telescopic. I already had a coat on today from going to a job interview, but I'm just gonna add a little bit onto that. Just gonna line my lips with the Essence in the Nude Lip Liner. For lips, I'm going to use MAC Pure Zen. So apparently I forgot to film this part, but I did put a little bit more of peanut butter underneath the eyes as well. I don't know where that clip went. It disappeared. <laughs> so that is all for this look. If you liked this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, bye guys!